more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Yo, top billing to ya. Man, listen. I can definitely see the plan with your man Devin Witherspoon out there with Jamar Adams, right? Those two cats on the inside, they're like super hype men, right? They're like Flavor Flav of Public Enemy, but it's like two of them. They be getting everybody hyped up out there, and um, I can see the plan, man. You talk about a high usage of zone. Someone was asking me about uh, Jamar Adams playing over the slot. I was like, well, there's definitely ways to mitigate certain things. Uh, you can have him play zone even though he's in a slot you can run through a lot of zone concepts and that's exactly what they're doing and they're doing the same thing with Devin Witherspoon all they mix it up a little bit with him with the inside out but that game against the commanders he was everywhere and he reminds me a lot of the honey badger Tyron Matthew I don't necessarily at least as of right now see him as some type of Darrell Revis shutdown corner type he reminds me of more of a make it happen type cat like create a lot of havoc uh, get everybody hyped up there. I mean, he'll get himself hyped. He'll get everyone. If someone else makes a play, he's on in on it. Uh, getting hyped for them and all that. An excellent addition for the Seattle Seahawks. You cannot front on that. Now, check this out right here. I couldn't wait to see them go against the Commanders because I think the Commanders top to bottom have a top five wide receiver core right in a overall targets definitely top five when you add in logan thomas in the backs who can catch out of the backfield like antonio gibson and brian robinson most people just don't know about the washington commanders because most people don't watch anything outside of social media so if you're not popping people aren't going to understand these guys are the truth and yosemite sam howell can deliver the pill so your man devin witherspoon right here on the outside so they're in there uh, they're in their 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 nickel package, right? Your, the big nickel package where you have Jamal Adams on the inside as well. You get this zone right here, right? They're working with that two deep shell that they've been leaning on a little bit more with Julian Love and Quandre Diggs to kind of combat the big plays over the top there. But watch them work this this zone, right? This vertical bell zone, or right? You get the zone out here. You get Terry McLaurin. I think he's running to the inside right here on, on kind of a hook. But watch him able to point this out right here. He's like, you got it. But watch him follow him inside as well and get himself a yaku. And then he's always hyped. There's something about, what's this arm? I love this arm shit right here. It's awesome. This shit gangster. Look at this. Oh! Almost had him one right there on zone. And if you see right here, he's always, <laughs> every play is like the greatest play of all time when Devin Witherspoon is around it, right? Every single play, you can see a point right there. I don't know if you may be able to see it with the arm thing, but <laughs> you can almost see his arm right there. That arm, what's that arm about? That shit is hard, right? The arm, man. But I love a play right here coming up out of that zone. One more time. Working out of the pedal, he calls it out, drifts up field, and then you can see the quickness. Uh, he has very good quickness. I don't know about his deep speed yet. You don't really get to see him tested in that manner there, especially by somebody who's extremely fast there, but uh, his quickness in and out of tr transitions and all that like that, man, A plus, A plus on that, no doubt about it. Stop me if you've heard this one before. DraftKings done done it again. Your boy Jersey Murph back partnering with the great folks over at DraftKings who told me to tell you that new customers placing a $5 bet will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Just head on over to your Google Play or Apple Store, download that DraftKings Sportsbook app, and get to playing. Too much fun to be had, man. Make sure you're getting in on those same game parlays. That's when you combine multiple bets together for a shot at an even bigger payout. And if you're already signed up for DraftKings like your boy, you can get a no sweat bet. You can get your bonus bet back if your same game parlay doesn't hit. Top billing is the promo code. Make sure you download that DraftKings Sportsbook app and have as much fun as your boy Jersey Murph is having. It's about to be on. Let's go. Now look at this, you can see his football intelligence. First, it feels like he wants to bluff the blitz, right? At any given time he can blitz, and uh, he's been pretty money with those PBUs from blitzing there. Then he looks like he wants to work the flat here. If I can get it started there. Looks like he wants to work the flat there. Then he doubles back, 
because Sam Howell here is detaching, and he does his thing, creating havoc. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. See him bluff that? Work back to it. Right? He's on it. At first, I was like, what is he doing? Then I'm like, oh, snap. <laughs> Your man done ripped the ball loose. <laughs> and, of course, he's getting it popping. But look at that right there. Working on it, right? I'm like, man, why is he not tackling him? But you can see him working back towards the ball. Man just has a nose for the ball right there. Rips it out. Gets Bob with a little help from his friend Quandre Diggs right there. Rips that bad boy out. Tariq Willen gets himself a fumble recovery. Come on, man. You got to love it. Here's a very intelligent play. It looks like he was originally going to work that nickel fire here. Then he floats back into zone. Sam Howell literally looks like he thought he was going to come and he could float it against him. Now, although he wasn't as close as he's making it seem, he gets you so hyped that you believe that every single play, right, that he was right. He was this close. He was this close. But in actuality, if you look at it right here, oh, <laughs> right. He did understand the assignment, no doubt about that. He probably created the assignment. He's that smart. You could tell. Right, originally works towards the line of scrimmage, sees that flat route developing actually, right? You can see it here, that vertical route, and then you get that flat out here. He's working this way and then tries to undercut that flat route right there. Right, or that out route, that quick out route there. And look at it, he's right up under it, but bang. <laughs> Sam Howard kind of short arms it there. He had the right idea. That could have been six the other way, no doubt about that, from him and from Tariq Willen, it looks like. We see him right there. The one who almost gets there is Tariq Willen, though. He really was on that vertical plane there and came back to it. But look at him. He got everybody. Come on, man. Y'all got to do the. Y'all got to live life like Devin Witherspoon. I ain't going front. I was annoying my wife because everything that I was doing the other day, I made it look like it was the greatest thing of all time, just like your man Devin Witherspoon, right? We were putting up some cabinets and shit in this. The little, little hardware fit perfectly. And I was like, yeah, you see that, baby? She was looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? <laughs> you got to live life like Devin Witherspoon, baby. Just do this anytime. Just anytime you feel like it. Something's going good, just do this, right? Like, is that some Michael Jackson shit? Like, <laughs> He's got that Michael Jackson in him. And I ain't talking about that dude that's collecting splinters in his ass on his team that you tried to tell me was having the greatest camp of all time. I'm talking about the king of pop. Devin Witherspoon, the king of pop. <laughs> Come on, man. He can pop people too. So I feel like he gets one of these per game. On that nickel fire with him closing off that particular lane right there, uh, putting the quarterback in a conflict of deployment. He is absolutely money there. Look at this. Oh, at least once a game right there. Uh, he's firing in all cylinders right there, getting himself a PBU in that manner there. Coming off the edge. Oh, all right, now we have to talk about physics. Devin Witherspoon is a hard hitter, right? The king of pop. He will pop your ass, no doubt about that. But I've seen him run over quite a few times as well, and I wonder if that's the next evolution of his game. Obviously, it's going to be he's a young cat. Uh, he's got to get in the weight room, man, because some of these running backs and tight ends uh, definitely sending him to zombie town a little bit. We can see on the halfback angle, right? Brian Robson coming here with his boom, no dice. See it a little bit better here, right? Get that halfback angle on Jordan Brooks there. Runs through the tackle of your boy Devin Witherspoon right there. Grab, getting himself like an extra 10, 12 yards. But look at that right there. So mano y mano. Mano y mano. However they say it, right? And uh, you can see him right here. Head on the outside and everything. Just like you would kind of teach it there. But, man, there's weight classes for a reason there. Uh, he barely stops Brian Robinson at all. <laughs> and Brian Robinson is still getting up field. The cavalry had to come and uh, take him down right there. So... But, uh, man, other than that, man, it's not much you can say bad about Devin Witherspoon. He will gamble at times, but I think that's just the uh, player in him, right? He wants to make a play at all costs. Now, people are still going to get mad, right? Because I still think that Kobe Bryant can do a lot of this stuff right here. Um, I know he's on injured reserve there. So I wonder, what do you do with a Kobe Bryant? Right? They're playing a lot more zone than I remember than they did with Kobe Bryant. It felt like Kobe Bryant was straight up man-to-man 99% -man of the time uh, when he was in the slot last season. 
Uh, they've mitigated that, like I said before, uh, maybe accounting for Jamal Adams' inability to play man coverage while still having him, who can definitely do all this shit, and he does it well, right? I think Jamal Adams has to break down in space a little bit more. Uh, he's been missing some tackles as well, but you talk about blitzing, uh, sideline to sideline, getting everybody hyped, big hits and all that. Jamal Adams is right there. Kobe Bryant, we saw, can do that. He laid somebody the hell out, right? That dude is still in zombie town from the preseason with that Kobe Bryant hit, and then you have Witherspoon. So lots of versatility there. Uh, when it's all at full strength, do you just keep a guy like Kobe Bryant on the bench? I don't know. That's tough right there. So uh, Trey Brown's been playing some pretty good ball on the outside when he's in there. And um, it allows Devin Witherspoon to do what he does on the inside. So, like I said before, rich people problems. And answer this question here. Does Julian Love suck? Yeah. What happened to that cat on that one Julian Love video I did who was trying to tell me after two games Julian Love sucked because he was playing out of position. Now you see him in his regular position. He's flying around and all that right there. And I don't see that dude coming back with his stupid ass PFF stats and shit like that. Don't come to my channel with nothing about no PFF. I've been like that since 10 years ago, right, in my career when they first started coming with that shit. And I said, do not bring that shit here. That's for lazy people. That's for nerds and casual fans who just like statistics. It doesn't take into account the type of player that you saw, right? If you're doing comparative stats, uh, who was your assignment on the other side? Suppose your assignment is... um. DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett, and then the other dude's assignment is some jag, uh, right, that nobody's ever heard of three catches that season or something like that. You know what I mean? It's hard to um, compare people who are not in the same scheme, doesn't have the same exact assignment and all that, and then give them the same grade. So PFF, like I always say, stands for Pussies Follow Frequently. And I'm going to run with that for the rest of my career. I, but listen. Julian Love doesn't suck. All the mother dudes don't suck either. Definitely a lot of talent on that defense. So got to see it come together a little bit more. The Commanders is a tough ass like I tried to tell people. But, hey, man, I'm just talking, right? It is what it is. Right? But it's your boy, Jersey Murph, as always. Thanks for the support out there. Uh, your boy feeling a little bit better. So uh, we can continue to rock out like that. Right? What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.